Okay, today we're going to be changing our closet area into our bathroom area so we have a little bit more privacy from each other when we're in our tiny home. Uh, I went ahead and took the shelves out. There was three shelves right here. That's what we stored extra clothes and our bathroom accessories. Uh, they're outside though. We're gonna paint them together. Yeah, we're gonna, when we put them back in, we're gonna make them a little bit higher, make the spaces a little bit smaller. That way we have plenty of room to sit down here because we're gonna turn this or put this toilet that's down here and we're gonna move it right there. Put the shelf, 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 and then uh, be a new bathroom. We'll let you stay on for the ride. It's probably one of the easiest brushes I've ever used since we've been building this. This is the first time we've actually really used it. This makes it a lot more easier, really. Highly convenient. sure at least I get the edge that we'll be seeing whenever the counter is in. And if there's any extra paint, get the sides that you do. And there's these three. Just gotta wait for this side to dry, I'll flip them to the other side, and then by the time I get done with that one, flip them back over and do another coat. Okay, so right now, what I did is, uh, took the toilet out, because since we're messing with it, might as well go ahead and get it changed out. Uh, I have this stool, where the tool's gonna go, the stool's about the same size, same size. Uh, so I'm gonna sit on it, see where my head goes, give or take, make a mark, so I know that's at least where my cabinets can start up top. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Got this marker, I'm gonna sit like I would be pooping, which of course I don't normally poop when my back against the wall, but give myself some head clearance. Be about right here. You don't have to be precise. Just to, just a little bit to give me a just idea, so I know that this is at least where my cabinets can start. Okay, so since we're still waiting on the paint to dry, and I'm really just fiddling my thumbs right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start marking out where my counters or cabinets are gonna be going. I'm not going to be doing the bottom screw, just so that way this thing can rotate left or right. Uh, because the trailer's not level, so I can't use a level to make sure that the counters, the cabinet will be level. So I'm just gonna stick all three secure points and adjust them sideways as needed, and then I'll screw in the final one. All right, due to the fact that I do not have a level, uh, I'm just measuring the tape. So I got my first hole put. That is uh, 49 and a half inches from the very, very bottom. And so that's where the screw's at. And so I notated that right here on this wall. I don't know if you can see it. But that is 49 inches from the bottom. Now over here on the bottom, I have a two by four on the ground. And so uh, pretty much from the bottom up, it would still be 49 but I'm just gonna measure, I just measured right here on top of it, because I know these are an inch and a half. And uh, it'll be right there. Yeah, right there, where the next little line is. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those holes just to get the first screw in. All right, now that the three are placed up, this is what's gonna support the counter. Okay, so from here, these are all leveled up. They're equal space from the flooring, so that's as best level as I can get them on an off-level trailer. Okay, the boards are now dry enough to at least be placed on their side, and then uh, we'll flip them over. We'll get the bottom parts of them. What you doing, Jimmy? I'm measuring where the holes need to go for the bracking mounts on the wood. On the wood? Cut! The wood! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> All right, 
got the first one in. That's where the bathroom will be. The first countertop starts here. I went ahead and screwed it down in, so it's down there. Uh, now I gotta get the next one. Okay, so in order to get this last shelf up, I had to unfasten these to bring it down. I wasn't able to, it's a weird angle and the boards are a weird cut. You can see I got, you can't see, but there's a two by four in this corner and each one of those has that edge, you know, I edged it off. Oh, you can see from under here. So they don't just slide in. Okay, so this shelf is gonna be, I know I want it six inches from the top. So I'm just gonna, any dandy tape measure and sort of pound it up there because I said it is a good fit and right now there's no screws in it so it, it's holding it on its own for the most part so I'm going to get it straightened up screwed in and then I'll get this one back up all right so here is our three shelves repositioned up to allow us room for our bathroom now I do know the wall in the back uh, we use some form of a uh, wall covering and it wasn't meant to be painted we did not I did not know that at the time so I painted it and um, I didn't treat it properly beforehand and now that's, that's what you're seeing that along with whenever I was putting the countertop or I mean the stuff down lower uh, there was a lot of scraping like I said I cut them very very precise to the dimensions inside of here um, these cords this goes to the back of my light switch which is right here that powers lights up there and uh anyways they they go running up and then they run behind the cupboards and then there goes my power supply uh different lights strung up mm -hmm. that's about it that's so we're gonna squeeze the toilet in here we have uh, a storage area for sawdust on our toilet paper And then we'll have us a little bit of your bathroom. We have a little bit more privacy. We'll have to come back in here and uh, make a little bit more festive or decorative. I don't have an eye for that. Action. Action. Okay, this is our finished little bathroom area. This is our curtain. We use this here to decorative reasons. And also it is like a door. Yeah. All right, like a door. Yeah, I like it. And you just unhook it and put it over here. And now it's all open. That's our heater and it's mounted up against the wall. It works really well over there because heat travels up and goes straight up into our bedroom. The dog's bedroom though, that tends to be a little more colder. And uh, now we come over to our toilet and we move to our toilet over here and raise the shelves up higher. That way we have enough room to sit down. And it's sort of like a little bitty room. We got all the space. Cool. And then with that in the, the way, it's sort of like you have your own bathroom. Thank you. Yeah. And then we have our shelves. <clears throat> this is sort of like my bathroom makeup stuff. All my shirts, clothes, shoes. And we'll stick more bathroom stuff up there. But it works out pretty well. Do you like how it turned out? Yeah. I like how it's like a little ready room. Yeah. Yeah. It works out. All right, everybody. Thank you for being with us on our little journey on just updating our bathroom and a place to poo. Uh, we look forward to seeing y'all more videos.